Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Valentin Oamaria, Honorable Minister of Health, Dr. Daniel Gamije, our keynote speaker, Dr. John Gegersong, Chancellor of UGHE, Professor Paul Farmer, Vice Chancellor of UGHE, Professor Agnes Binaguaho, Deputy Vice Chancellor Academic and Research Affairs, and the Dean of School of Medicine, Professor Abebe Bekele, Deputy Vice Chancellor Administrative and Financial Affairs, Mr. Rogers Muragije, Dignitaries of Burera District, UGHE Board of Directors, Faculty and Staff of UGHE, Distinguished Guests, Graduates, Parents, Family and Friends of UGHE, all protocols observed. It is an honor for me to stand before all of you today. Our journey started off in not the most conventional of circumstances due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The majority of us were new to online learning and were concerned about how we would manage. Fortunately, the UGHE online learning platform was both sophisticated and user-friendly, making the transition to the new normal seamless. In January 2021, we finally made our way to Butaro. And I must say, pictures do not do justice to the beauty of this place. We were privileged to be under the tutelage of renowned faculty from all over the world. I would like to thank them for their professionalism and willingness to assist us every step of the way. Through your guidance and mentorship, we have learned to adapt to the forever changing situations in both our professional and personal lives. You are the best. Our cohort comprised 12 nationalities, and as such, many of us arrived here as strangers, but I am proud to say we live here as family, and for that I am eternally grateful. Such diverse professional and personal backgrounds set the tone for the importance of teamwork, patience, and accountability. We were introduced to the fascinating field of One Health, a transdisciplinary approach showing the interconnectedness of human, animal, and environmental health. Part of this module involved field visits to different parts of Rwanda, where we observed firsthand how these three sectors influenced each other. During this time, we engaged various stakeholders, including local communities, mining companies, and wildlife authorities, with the aim of understanding the challenges they faced, and we exchanged ideas on how they can thrive sustainably using a One Health approach. The fieldwork experience was one of the most exciting and fulfilling parts of the program. In our various teams, we carried out research that we hope will change the way healthcare is delivered, especially to the most vulnerable. As with any project, we had our highs and lows, but we managed to overcome any challenges like the true lions that we are. To you, my peers, I have two requests. Firstly, go into the world and be the leaders you have been chained to be. Be the voice of the voiceless. Secondly, please don't miss me too much because I assure you we will meet in the future. Lastly, to the hospitality team, I'd like to say thank you for making our stay pleasant. To the campus operations team, thank you for keeping this place running. And to the kitchen staff, Murakoze Chiani for Pizza Tuesdays. I'd like to also thank students and health services, admin and facilities teams, as well as everyone working behind the scenes. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. We appreciate you and hope you continue to do the same for those who come after us. Thank you.